Hey guys, I'm feeling great today. The sun is shining, my hair is swish-tastic, and I feel like we are finally going to get this haul right. Um, I hope the sun isn't making me look kind of weird or casting shadows. The um, windows are just like totally thrown open and we have new blinds, which maybe I could actually figure out how to use, but they're very new to me. Anyway, so, um, so I just wanted to tell you guys that I have not given up on YouTube. And I actually film videos every weekend, which you might not believe, but there's always something wrong with them. So I'll show you a few clips right now. This is something I tried to film, sort of a more colorful eye, which I'll have to um, tackle again because that just didn't come out good. Here is another one, which I believe was like a get ready with me, dark brown smoky eye. I had a couple where I tried to film this haul. And I tried to experiment with like dark lips and up close I think it looked nice but from far away it just kind of made me look like I have really thin lips which was like disgusting to me and my bun was everywhere like there's always these little details um, that just get me and I can't. <clears throat> so anyway, hopefully this is a great start to kickstarting my YouTube channel again and I have an announcement about a new blog, etc, etc, but anyway, let's just jump into the clothes for now because I'm really excited to show you. And my dad told me I actually have a Hollister package downstairs, so that excites me even more. Um, but I think I'm going to save that maybe for a later haul because I want to save some of the goodness. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, thanks for tuning in and let's jump into the clothes. Okay guys, so let's jump into the haul. Um, I'm never really sure if I'm supposed to like stay here by the side when I film or if I'm supposed to like show you guys up close. So I think we're going to mix it up today. And I'll go with my intuition. So here we go. The first piece may not be the most exciting because as you can tell I'm already wearing it so you've seen it. <clears throat> Sorry, crap my throat. Anyway, um, this is from Forever 21 and I just love it because it's a big lovely fluffy cream snood and this is my crappiest one. I actually bought a couple because I love it so much. I need backups and I don't ever really want to be without it, especially because the price was really cheap compared to other snoods I've seen online which is like $50, $70, etc. But um, yes, me and my friend spotted this probably like two months ago and we found it in the Times Square Forever 21 and we both loved it and decided to be um, snood twins so we each bought one. But we went out a week later and I was wearing my snood which was in mint condition, I was taking care of it so much and then I kind of let her wear it because it was cold outside and Christina if you're watching this, you know it's you. Um, <laughs> We got a little tipsy, perhaps her more so than me, or <clears throat> whatever the case was, we ended up like throwing the snood around both our necks and trying to be funny and shit, and then it just got stretched out and I felt like horrible. But it was actually still online, so I decided to bite the bullet and yeah, buy two more. So this is one of my good ones. And this one is crappy and it's just gotten crappier because um, I've just decided to let it be my whatever snood that I throw on in the winter when I have a coat. and. You know, I don't need to worry about maybe if it, like, it starts pulling apart or anything because this is just my catch-all snood. Next up is this lovely sweater. This is from Forever and I actually really love it. Um, it piqued my interest enough for me to try it on in the fitting room and I also bought like eight other sweaters in there and this is the only one that I walked out with so I really like it and I just think it's very flattering. Um, I feel like it, it looks a little more expensive than forever, which makes me happy. And I actually tried to film uh, an unboxing video about She Inside, and I was wearing this sweater, which I think looked great, but the video went totally south, so I'm not even going to get into it. But if you guys want, um, hopefully I'll have shown you a clip of me wearing it. So it was $24.80, and I actually have seen it like probably two weeks ago, so maybe you guys can still get it. By the way, I must tell you guys, which you might already know, um, I'm probably not going to film myself trying on all these pieces in this haul. I just feel like there's too much, but if that's something you really, really like, please tell me and for my next haul I'll definitely try to accommodate that as much as possible. So next up is this really gorgeous cream blazer and this is from Forever 21 and I just bought it yesterday. What I love about it are these lapels which are or lapels, I think it's lapels, but anyway, these are like so nice and I just feel like it looks like a really tailored piece, um, so I really liked it. I wrestled with it a little simply because I love the cut, I love the fabric, feels really nice, and the lapels, but the sleeves are a little bit flare-like for me, which makes it look a little dated in my opinion, but I might get that tailored. I just, I'm kind of trying to buy more pieces with longevity um, that I can wear into my adult years. So next up is a great basic tee. This is from Brandy Melville. 
and I really, really do like this. This was $18, which I feel is a bit steep for just a t-shirt, but it's not unheard of. Um, the reason I got it, I feel like this would look great under winter cardigans, blazers. It's just a great basic, and I absolutely love. It's very flowy. It's soft. I like the sleeve cut. I love the deep v-neck. Everything feels so crisp and flattering to me. So that's why I bought that. Next up, this is my new favorite blouse. This is from She Inside, which I feel is basically an Asian kind of like ghetto warehouse manufacturing company. Um, I'll share my thoughts more on them in depth with you in another video, but yeah, so it's a little bit sketchy in my opinion, but I've seen other girls on YouTube buy from them. So I decided to go ahead and place an order and I put this in last minute and I just love it. I think it looks really chic. I've seen so many girls wearing shirts like this on Pinterest or style blogs, and I have a blog post myself wearing it, so I'll put that down in the description bar if you want to see how it looks on me. Next up is this great little number. This is from Forever 21. I believe it was 1580, and I just really liked it because I love the print, and I can't resist when I see like these open cardigan type of pieces without buttons. For some reason, I don't like buttons, and I love the draping, so these are just features that I always kind of make a beeline for when I see them and I just think it's a really cute top and better for the fall than the winter because as you can see it's kind of thin. Oof. Next up is this black blouse and there's some stuff on it, excuse that. Hopefully you guys can see it because in the last video when I tried to film it just looked like a, bl like a black mask kind of thing like you couldn't even really see the details but ugh, sorry I have hair everywhere I like shed like a dog. Anyway but um, this was like $9.99 and it was on sale if necessary so that's why I bought it. And I, it was the kind of number where I'm not super excited to get it because it's not very eye-catching, it's not super fun or, you know, what have you, but I, d what is happening here? My hangers are like poking me in the back, but I actually don't have like a single black top. Can you believe that? So I kind of just got this as an easy staple for work and also casual wear. I like this gold, oh, Jesus Christ, everything's funny. Anyway, <laughs> I like this gold button. I like the fact that it's like sort of three-quarter length and it's ruched so I don't have to pull it up like it already does it for me. I don't really like it's a bit frilly around here but in general I do like the top and I'm glad I bought it even though I wasn't like a huge fan at first. So next up is this number from Necessary Clothing as well. Sorry it's sitting a little funkily on this hanger but I really really do like this. Um, I like that it has like mustard yellow and like different colors that I don't normally wear so it makes it more fun but it still stays really neutral and once again I just love you know the no buttons. I feel like it looks really sleek and tailored so that was a great buy for me and the brand is Stella Jella Couture. Never heard of such a thing. Um, this is a sweater from SheInside.com which I bought with the blouse and I like it. Um, I don't love it. I don't know. I feel like when I was looking online, sorry, all this stuff is sitting so weirdly, I feel like. But when I bought it online, I don't know, it kind of looked more expensive to me for some reason. Like there was something that really caught my attention with it. But in person, it's okay. It just, it sits a little weird on me. The shoulders are very strangely structured so that these parts are always kind of slipping off my shoulders. But I do have very like slender shoulders, so that could be why. But in general, I like this cardigan. Don't love it, but like it. Next up is this great piece by Forever 21. And what I love about this piece is that it is a um, basic that I can truly, truly wear in the winter and not have to worry about being cold. There's been so many times where I've gone out wearing something new and cute that I've just bought and it's just not warm enough and I don't realize that. So now I'm trying to really stick to like thick, substantial pieces like this. And in New York City, it honestly is colder than what people might think. It gets into like the 20s and 30s, so I feel like to keep warm, you really need to wear something physically thick that feels heavy because that's what's going to really keep you warm. Next up is the final piece I bought from She Inside. I really like this sweater, but when I got it, I feel like the material is a little bit like dated. Like it just feels kind of like those ugly Christmas sweaters. Like, I don't know. Uh, once again on the site it looked really chic and nice, but I like that it keeps me warm because it's thick, but it really does remind me of like that mothball kind of fabric. So yeah, but in general, I like it. Don't love it once again. And last 
is this cute little gray mini from Forever. There's not a story behind why I bought this. It was $5.80 and I basically just bought it because it was a good, cry a good price. <laughs> and um, who doesn't need another mini skirt for the summer? So yeah. Anyway guys, if you thought the fun stops here, you're wrong. We have amazing accessories to jump into, which include fun high heels, wedge sneakers, statement watches, everything like that. And yeah, so stay tuned. One second, I'm going to get all my stuff. Okay guys, so I've cleared my rack out of the way, flipped my hair over to the other side for a little extra oomph, and we're ready to go. So first up is this Steve Madden bag in another Steve Madden bag. Um, I bought... This bag, I would say, three months ago, maybe? And I absolutely love it. Here it is. Yay! I don't think it looks super special um, on the camera, but I really think it's a cute, like, neutral, everywhere bag. I think this bag would be great to travel with because it just kind of looks like those duffel bags that you would bring with you onto an airplane or train, and I just think it's so super cute, guys. There's a strap, so I can wear it like this. And kill me now guys, my uh, camera just ran out of memory and it's fun because my camera doesn't like to alert me to that. It's kind of just like a fun surprise I find out later. So um, I just realized, thank Jesus, that this was not recording. So I deleted some crap and here we go. So anyway, to finish out what I was saying about the Steve Madden bag, I just think it's really cute and it has these little handles here and I just think it's like the perfect kind of like traveling bag. So this is an amazing find to me. Next up, I'll show you another bag that I really love that I bought recently. Booyah, kasha! Here we go, guys. So this is a cute little satchel from Forever 21. I know it's not sort of the most eye-catching bag. It's a little on the plain side. <clears throat> Sorry. But anyway, um, I just really like it because it's the perfect medium size. And the reason why I need like a medium size bag is because when I go clubbing, um, it's really embarrassing. I can only wear heels for like an hour, and then after that, like I just can't. Like I need to change immediately. Um, so I always bring with me those like foldable flats, which is great because you can stow them away in your clutch. But the bad part is, what do you do with your heels after you've changed? Last time I went out, I kind of just had to hold my heels in my hand the whole time, and that just looks so stupid. Um, the trade-off is that I could get a big bag and bring that with me because I do have bigger bags, but. I also get very paranoid um, that someone's gonna like steal my stuff if I leave it like in a corner, which I think is a valid concern, especially at the club. Like there's all kinds of shady crap that happens there. So I kind of wanted something that I wouldn't look like a total idiot out on the dance floor with. Of course, if I had the opportunity, I would definitely like stash it away somewhere if we had like a VIP table, but that doesn't happen because that's not my life. So yeah, so this is a great size bag. Um, it's like really cute. It's just a nice little satchel. Has these so that you can feel like a lady and hold it like this. And then it also has your typical crossbody strap like that. So that is wonderful. Moving into other areas, I will show you guys these fun sunglasses I got. They're both from Forever 21. And oof. here's this one, which I think is cute. Um, it kind of reminds me of like 3D glasses you'd wear in the movie theater. And my friend actually also though has like a matte pair like this that's from Ray-Bans or whatever that are Wayfarers and that shit costs like 200 bucks but to be honest I kind of think these look like the same and they were like 580 I think. Yep, 580 so yeah. Jesus. Okay and then I also bought this other fun pair which is 580. It's this like fun leopard kind of print or maybe tortoise shell however you want to describe it. And it looks like this, and I kind of just feel like, like a celebrity when I wear it. So yeah, I really like this as well. Seriously, people, why? I don't know why this is happening. Um, I put my hair up because it was losing volume, and this is a good tip if you want volume in your hair on the go. So anyway, I'll be quick. So this would just be a great little stocking stuffer or gift for a friend. It looks super classy, and I really like the box. So that's wonderful. Now I have this quick little doodad to show you guys from Urban Outfitters. Great. You hold your ID here. It has these cute gold studs. And then, ooh, it's like a classy snake print. And you have just one pocket for like your credit cards or whatever. So I love this. I'll definitely be using this on my nights out. It was eight bucks and I'm not sure what the brand is. Um, also are these amazing nude heels from Aldo. I like the heel height because it's not very intimidating. These are a little uncomfortable to me. They feel like they pinch my feet, but that's also because I'm in between sizes. But yeah, um, so yeah. That's it, I guess. <laughs> oh no, I got these for like 55, which I thought was a great deal because originally they were like 90, but I'm pissed now because they're like 39 at this point, which I'm just like, fuck my life. Um, 
Another pair of shoes are these from Necessary Clothing. And they were only $9.99, can you believe it? And that's not a sale price either, that's just how much they are. They also have a brown pair if you guys are interested in that. Sorry if I'm being ridiculously fast. I don't want to run out of memory again, and my parents are rushing me at the house. Um, so here's another amazing high heel. This is from Aldo as well. And they're just really nice, like kind of rhinestone detailed black heels. They're even shorter than the other ones, so that is always a plus for me because I look ridiculous wearing heels. Um, I'm pissed though because I bought these at full price at 90 and now they're also like 50 something. So that's my life. And I believe, thank God, the last one. Look at these fun wedge sneakers, yay! These are um, not from Steve Madden, these are from Payless, and I really think they're very comparable to the Steve Madden ones and all the fancy ones. Um, this was actually only 20, can you believe such a thing? I got, I first saw these at 49.99 in my mall two weeks ago, then on Black Friday the price was like suddenly 21, and for some reason a dollar got tacked off at the register. Who cares, I'm not complaining, so I love these. They're a little uncomfortable though, I didn't realize these would be uncomfortable, just because I thought they were sneakers, and I associate sneakers with comfort. Anyway guys, that's it guys, I'm so sorry for all this randomness. So thank you for watching my haul, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay guys, so obviously I'm not in the attic anymore, I'm in my dad's car, but... Um, I wanted to tell you guys that I have a new blog and it focuses more on fashion and style and I've written a lot on it already and I've also shown like outfit of the day so hopefully you guys can check that out. I'll put the name right here and I'll also put all the details of everything I mentioned today in the description bar. So thanks so much again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!